Hello everyone, this is Korda giving you part 2 and hopefully the conclusion of this replay. Remind now using that potion of healing, trying to engage a little bit more. One Druid of Talon getting taken down along with the Raiders, so both players trying to flee, taking a little bit of damage before moving back out. No players with expansion jet, a grunt, 27 hit point grunt, carefully microed to the back of the base. Taking a look at this, I do not see any additional healing salves anywhere, so gonna have to go back to that base in order to try to heal back up. Torrent Chieftain, almost at level 3, needs only, what, one more or five more experience? Oh wow, one more experience in order to get to level 3 and get that level 2 shockwave. Blade Master, on the other hand, gonna sell some items, buy a scroll of healing, and... scroll of healing? That's a little bit of an odd move, and a potion of it, and lesser invulnerability. That's what I expected him to buy that first time. Torrent Chieftain now going to buy some healing salves, oh, a clarity potion, in order to get some more shockwaves in as well. Blade Master still running around the map trying to... Uh, but he is, in fact, I believe he, he is, in fact, revealed... Yeah, still revealed from that fairy fire. Fairy fire finally um, disengaged. Taking a look at this, Remind buys a moonstone and now trying to charge up all those moon wells once again. Remind sitting at 33 over 50. Meanwhile, Lin sitting at 39 over 50. So both players sitting at very, very low food count. Torrin Chieftain wants to try to get up to and level 3, no ensnare on that um, gargantuan sea turtle yet, and there it goes, down goes that ensnare, and now going to try to take down some of these giant sea turtles as well, but that demon hunter gets a quick mana burn in, and now that torrent chieftain pretty much out of, con or no additional shockwaves, or just one shockwave now being neutralized by that fight. Demon Hunter and um, Druid of the Town one and once again re-engage. Spirit Link cast and now here comes that Blade Master. Blade Master may try to take down perhaps one or two of those lower hit point units. Naga Sea Witch now getting taken down as well. More Cyclone, more units up in the air just spinning around. What Raiders getting taken down, more Cyclone being used. And wow, those Druids of the Talon, just six of them able to just fend off or split up this army. Pe Peons now being used with um, Spirit Link in order to try to spread out some of that damage. More Cyclone and this is just an up in the air battle. So, units just trying to be forced around, being pushed around. Torrent Chieftain now sitting at level 2. Even if he gets to level 3, is not going to get an, an, the stronger shock, or not going to be able to use that stronger shockwave. It, does he tech? Yeah, he techs shockwave, but he doesn't even have the mana f for a single shockwave right now. Torrent Chieftain, or sorry, the Blade Demon Hunter now down to 359 hit points, continuing to try to fight those Druids of the Talon, attacking very slowly, but still am, am able to take it, or able to deal some damage. The Demon Hunter now getting taken down while not being able to talk as quickly as I normally do. Raiders now coming, trying to pull back as the, as that tight positioning makes it a very, very favorable position for Remind to really fight in this space. No more m Moon Juice in those Moon Wells. Taking a look over here, Torrent Chieftain and that Blade Master trying to heal back up. Perhaps we'll try to creep out this Ogre Magi camp as that Blade Master continues to do some harassment. Blade Master, however, does not have that much mana. So without that much mana, not quite sure what exactly that Blade Master intends to do. In come those Raiders. Raiders now going to go ahead and I believe they ensnared. They're going to go ahead and ensnare that Overlord and then just um, bring him back around. There it goes. Wait for the ensnare. There it goes. And that Overlord is just going to be silly and not attack back. And getting another ensnare off. Just trying to take down that Overlord. Getting pathed and then down goes that Overlord. Going to drop a very nice item. It is in fact a Strength and Agility Helm of Valor. So probably going to be trans or to that Blade Master. Blade Master would get plus four attack and more hit points. But the Torn Chieftain also gets more hit points as well. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability transferred to that Blade Master. Remind buying a Squirrel Town Portal and now trying to creep out this particular Ogre Magi camp over here. We'll see how this um, particular creep camp works as that Torn Chieftain. And now going to grab a Scroll of... Um, it was a Rune of Lesser Healing? Or Rune of Healing. Down goes... Oh, no. Wisp getting uh, able to get a detonation off. Forest Troll Trapper now just being left behind. Going to get taken down um, right here with no real issue. So down it goes. A large number of Druids of the Talon taking a look back at the regular base right now, taking a look for that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter should be resurrected momentarily. Archers are not upgraded. Druids of the Talon obviously at mastery training. Taking a look at the upgrades on these units. No upgrade on any of these units. Perhaps Pillage has been researched. Um, I cannot tell if Pillage has or has not in fact been researched at this stage in the game. Torrent Chieftain still running around. Haven't seen any additional shockwaves yet. Remind buying a Dust of Appearance in order to try to reveal... Um, reveal those that Blade Master, if that Blade Master is in fact nearby, ensnare by that Raider. Raider would probably will will probably start ensnaring that Overlord once again. And at this at this stage in the game, I think Lin being able to creep out a, a higher, more difficult creep camps will be able to take this game. Blade Master does in fact have that plus four Helm of Valor. So Helm of Valor. Oh, Tome of Experience being get, picked up by that Torn Chieftain. Torn Chieftain also getting plus four strength and plus four intelligence. So very nice item for that. Torrent Chieftain, as that Torrent Chieftain will in fact get more mana for those shockwaves and more hit points, making him a stronger tank. Blade Master by, um, using a Clarity Potion, using, um, and then going to go ahead and head back out once again. 
now we have a level 1 Goblin Tinker. So level 1 Goblin Tinker, level 3 Demon Hunter. That Goblin Tinker with 5 armor and 650 hit points is a fairly decent hero at this stage in the game. Blade Master now going after a Wisp, take, like, quickly taking down that Wisp and now getting level 4 on that Blade Master. Torrent Chieftain on the other hand, still um, over here trying to do some more creeping. Gonna try to get up um, perhaps a Scroll of the Beast or a Potion of Greater Healing or a Potion of Invulnerability for a full 15 seconds. Blade Master and, oh sorry, Demon Hunter and that uh, Naga Sea Witch now moving back over. Goblin Tinker moving over as well. Let's see what item the Torrent Chieftain wasn't in fact able to get. A Potion of Greater Healing. So additional 500 hit points of heal may maybe will be given to that Blade Master as that Blade Master would be able to use that fairly well. Uh, Lin now finally getting that level 1 um, weapons upgrade research. Trying to get those units up to 1-0 or um, already has the armor upgrade. So that's going to be a little bit of a cancellation against the Druids of the Talons Fairy Fire. Coming back over here, Blade Master still running around the map as the Demon Hunter is still being able to creep. If the Goblin Tinker is able to get to level 2 and the Torrent and the, what, the Demon Hunter is able to get to level 4, it might be able to balance out this fight a little bit more. Blade Master, however, going to come back in and try to disrupt this, um, all this um, creeping right there. Going after that Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter down to 402 hit points. And does in fact have a potion of lesser invulnerability and a potion of greater healing so able to fight more spirit link units up in the air just constantly fighting back and forth no one really doing any crazy micro at this stage nice shockwave hitting off a lot of those units from that backside blade master still being cancelled by just being up in the air the whole entire time and now raiders and a scroll of healing used in order to try to keep save, save up some of those raiders the, the cancel the mana burn cancelling those shockwaves have been has been fairly effective another um, shockwave now coming out because that um, torrent chieftain does in fact have potions of mana so this fight going um, pretty badly for Lin though. Lin losing a lot of those units only has Spirit Walkers left. Spirit Walkers are going to be, be forced to pull to the back. And that Goblin Tinker sitting at what level 2 may get taken down. Gob Pocket Factory now trying to get pulled back away. A lot of Clockwork Goblins. I think there was a... What was that the Rockets? The Rockets are causing a little bit of a stun on all those units. Blade Master up in the air. Blade Master may get taken down. Um, if they continue to fight, another what mana flare up in the air by Lin. Lin able to um, stop any of those additional fairy fires, and now mana burn off on the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain does not have any additional potions of mana, and now trying to run back away. The Tor like Blade Master or Demon Hunter trying to chase it down, a nice and snare by a low hit point raider, and this fight is um, this fight is going to be delayed for another day. I'm going to go ahead and try to speed up this replay just for a little while as these units are now trying to get pulled back. Okay, here we go. Both players, once again, just also just pulling back, trying to re regroup themselves. Remind probably going to purchase some items over here at this Ogre Magi, Ogre Magi camp by this Goblin Merchant. Meanwhile, back over here, Blade Master already getting healed back up, wants to move back out. Blade Master sitting at level 4, Torin Chieftain most likely has a Clarity Potion and some Potions of Mana. Going to go ahead and try to push in into that main base. Taking a look over here that... Demon Hunter and that Blade, Demon Hunter and that Goblin Tinker with that Naga Sea Witch. Squirrel Town Portal now used, trying to take it down. The Troll Trapper going to get taken down at the last second. Toma Strength plus two being left behind. And now we, here we have the engagement. A nice Shockwave hitting a lot of those units as they were clumped up. Torn Chieftain might get another Shockwave in with that Potion of Mana. We'll wait for it. Nice uh, stun. Uh, stun though, but now down will go that last Goblin Tinker. And it's going to be a very difficult position. Lin still has a Potion of Mana, so may be able to get a nice Shockwave off. Let's see if he's going to be, uh, no, once again up in the air trying to continue to fight that Torrent Chieftain. It will, will be surrounded when he lands. And is he going to use that potion of... No, not going to lose it. And Lin's going to get taken down at level 5 on that Torrent Chieftain. And that may be GG. But how... how level 4 on the Naga Sea Witch. Level 4 on the Demon Hunter. Taking a look at Blade Master now. See that level 4. Trying to resurrect the Torrent Chieftain the old-fashioned way. But that's going to take quite some time. In comes the rest of this army as those what, Druids of the Talon, just a large number, of, large number of Druids of the Talon going to be pushing into the base. Do not have the fortification upgrades, so those Orc Burrows will in fact be taking a lot of damage. Those units trying to run away, and still those what, the Druids of the Talon just coming in, trying to chase. No one really pushing back anywhere, and... And the, what the Druid of the Talon army decides to really push on into the main base instead. No, not pushing back. And as the, with the Blade Master sitting at level 4, no one really trying to do any real engagement. And this replay is going to be ending soon. So I'm not sure how what's going to be happening here. Now finally taking down um, these Orc Burrows. So Orc Burrows getting focused down by those Druids of the Talon. As I said earlier, going to get Supply Lock. 
um, Lin in just a moment. So another Druid of the Talon getting taken down. And here comes in that fight. And um, down goes one Raider. Raider getting taken down. More in, more Cyclone up in the air. And yeah, things are not looking good for Lin. Lin going to lose another additional Raider. Got pocket Factory now. Or sorry. We have the Goblin Tinker now coming back in. And yeah, definitely not looking good. Blade Master going to get taken down. And right here, just waiting for maybe perhaps a stun from Remind's Goblin Tinker. And that will be the game. Po Potion of Lesser Invulnerability used by that Naga Sea Witch. And Lin says GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this replay between Remind and Lin here on Turtle Rock.